Hello, and welcome to episode 293 of the Scratch-Off Bonanza. Oh, boy. We are facing off against Mr. Sadistic Poker Player today. Say, say hello. I don't know. Um, okay, so there's two phases to this. I'm going to do this one first. No, let's do this first. I want to get these sadistic hands out of the way. Get a better poker hand than theirs within the game of Texas Hold'em. That is totally based on skill. I totally trust. I totally trust the dealing in this one. It's not like it's rigged or anything. Not like it's plastic explosive or anything. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah, just beat them in a five card poker hand and you win. They got Ace Ten, King Queen. Theoretically, I should win, but no. Well, I should win more often. Okay, come on. Yep, there's their king. Two. That's obviously a loss. They have two pair. I have one. Jack 10 of hearts, 4, 5 of diamonds, 8, 7, 8. Come on, give me the 9 of diamonds. Oh, no. See, that's the river BS. I would have high carded them, too. Um, I thought I actually did for a second. I'm like, well, they don't have a straight, so I win, right? Nope. Jack ten of diamonds because we know that this treated us so well when he had when we had it here in a different suit. Seven eight of clubs. Oh look, where's the flush? Come on. Yeah, there's your little straight. Well, see, this is what I'm talking about. Look at they give you two pair and then he has to catch it on the river. I swear. It's, it's really, I mean, this is the type of stuff that I don't like. I don't know, I get mad at this, but then again, I've been in these situations in real life before, so... Yeah, I understand that. It's annoying. So basically, they just need to... Basically, they just got us with the pocket deuces. Versus our nothing. King-Queen versus Jacks. Theoretically, we're in a coin flip, maybe 45% to win, but this is the lottery game. This is Mr. Sadistic Poker Player, so we can't win, right? Nope. I'm surprised they didn't put a jack out here and then give us the 10 for the straight. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed, ticket creator. You had a chance to screw us over, and you didn't take it. I mean, you had a chance to mess with the person scratching this off. And you didn't take it, so I'm disappointed. Jack-10, because we know this worked out so well before. Versus sevens. Yeah, they, they just did, we didn't improve, so obviously they win. We have to beat theirs over here. And given how badly we played up here, and how bad of luck we got, not surprisingly, none of these are higher than theirs. I'm surprised they only have that many chips of ours. You know, they, most, they mostly would have our entire stack. What's the freaking... What are the odds on this? It feels like it's very low. 1 in 3.99. That's actually really bad for a $5 ticket, I think. What's it on the ruby red? Oh, it's actually slightly better. 3.98. But either way, it's not that good. I thought it was more... I'm going to look at what it is on the jumbo cash, actually, because that's an Indiana ticket. I want to see if it's like notably higher on this. 1 in 3.86, so it's like it's marginally higher. But it's still higher. Didn't give us a win on that one, but still. So, Mr. Sadistic Poker Player crushed our our wallets and our e and our egos and our entire dreams. Thank you, Mr. Sadistic Poker Player. I thought that was gonna be a good. T I th I liked that one and I bought it, but now I don't like it anymore. Because they don't just win; they just they go. There's always one of these setups where, you know, it's. You know, you gotta just rub salt into the wound. You know, where is it? It's this one here. Oh, two pair. Oh, look, and he gets the straight on the river. You know, why do you do that? Like, is this, are they trying to appeal to a televised audience here? 
I know that that makes for real drama when you're watching it on the World Series of Poker, but these aren't going to be on TV. Like, well, this one is going to, well, it's going to be on YouTube, but still, you know, these aren't going to be on TV, so I don't understand why you can't just make it, make it more obvious without always giving us something here. You know, come on. You know, why can't you just not set it up like this? It just seems like someone deliberately went into these tickets and said, how can we toy with the minds of someone who's scratching this off as much as possible while they're scratching it? I just don't understand it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.